You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me so mad? I just want to try to sneak into SeaWorld with a peg leg and a harpoon. Yeah, that ought to freak out Shamu. My little boy Earl Jr. come home the other day from high school fundraiser, and he got a plastic bag filled with water, and there's goldfish swimming around in there. And I said, uh, what you going to do with that fish? He looks at the fish, and he goes, uh, I don't know. Keep it. Now, at this point, I should have jumped up, snatched that bag out of his hands, run to the toilet, and saved myself a world of heartache. But fact is, I don't move as fast as I used to. Because my old lady, she come in there before I moved an inch. This is a woman that's been wanting an aquarium since the day we got married. And they, they got actual guys building aquarium shows on the TV, and she's hooked on it. She's been begging me for 20-something years to buy her an aquarium. I am personally opposed. I think being a fisherman with an aquarium is like being, like being a hunter raising baby deer in the garage. Just something fundamentally wrong with that. Here's the problem with having an aquarium. Number one, you have to go to the aquarium store. Who has ever gone into a aquarium store, took a good whiff, and thought, man, I'd like to smell that in my house. Plus, the people you'll find at the aquarium store are just a tad more creepy than the people you find lined up at a methadone clinic. It's not a hobby that attracts normal people. Number two... That free goldfish you won with a ping pong ball at the spring social, it's going to end up costing over $300 if you want to do it right. My old lady insists we're going to do it right. <laughs> yeah, if we did it right, Nemo right now would be swimming around the waste treatment plant. Wake up, America! I told Pearl. If that fish dies, you owe me 300 bucks for this stupid aquarium I had to buy. He's still alive. Although, I caught her twice last night giving it mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. I'm Earl Pitts American. Visit my new blog at earlpittsamerican.com and pits off. <laughs>